Huggins for 30 years loyal service. From now on, I'm going to enjoy myself. was to do absolutely nothing, slowly. I was at peace with the world, the world was at peace with me. It was like being a boy again, and a whole new world was before me. I felt great. What with my retirement plan and the few dollars I'd saved, I didn't have a thing to worry about. I watched people rushing around and was glad I didn't have to. After 30 years of running, I was happy to walk for a change. With the children married and gone, our house was pretty big, but the mortgage was paid up. Sue and I had always looked forward to fixing the house up just like we wanted it, and we set out to do just that. Now I had all the time in the world for the little things I could never enjoy before. My first project, doing nothing, soon changed into working full time around the house, and I loved every minute of it. Sue and I had always been fond of flowers, and this year I promised myself we'd have a garden that would be the pride of the entire neighborhood. Even the birds knew something special was going on when I set up the new bird bath. I was pretty proud of it, made it myself. Among other things, I even had time for an old hobby of mine. Built myself a dark room in the basement. I really got a lot done in a short time, and I felt kind of proud of myself. Even my golf score improved. To think that I used to fuss about how crowded everything was on weekends. Now I had the golf course all to myself, all through the week. I'd think of the fellas back at the office, same old grind, nine to five every day. Then there were times I'd get a thought I hated to admit. I was sort of lonesome. After a while, some of the things I used to take for granted got more and more important. Now I really looked forward to the weekly luncheon club. That's when we'd swap stories, mine about golf and gardening, 
and theirs about what was happening down at the office. I could tell they envied me, and sometimes I laid it on a little thick. But the time at the luncheon always went by so fast. It seemed like we no sooner got started than they started rushing back to work. It didn't used to be this way, but now I was always the last one to leave. After a while, I found myself walking away from those meetings and wondering. Wondering if, if maybe I should have stayed on at the office for a few more years. Everyone seemed to have somewhere to go, something to do. With time on my hands, I started a kind of self-improvement program, read books I'd always meant to read. But I was too restless to concentrate. Well, the company had its big annual picnic. I could tell Sue missed going. She used to have a good time at all the office parties. Somehow, when you stop working, you seem to stop doing lots of other things besides. The neighborhood seemed to be growing away from us. Lots of new young people moving in. Lots of new children. I felt guilty about resenting their fun. Boys will be boys, I guess. Shortcut, throw it. Okay, here it comes. It broke. <laughs> boys will be boys, I guess. and from eastern North Dakota into northern Minnesota. Now for the local weather forecast. Another cold front is expected to move in tonight, bringing freezing rain and snow to most of the area. It is predicted that before this cold wave passes, the thermometer will reach record low sub-zero temperature. This is retirement, time on your hands, with no place to go, nothing to do. This is what it means to be put out to pasture. There must be something else. This can't be what I've looked forward to for all these years. I'm not ready for pasture. I've got a lot of living left in me. taken a winter vacation in our lives. What do you say we take one now? Let's go west. I know. Let's go to Arizona. Visit our friends the Neelands. Let's go right now. I got a letter from the Neelands. In the middle of the night? I wondered if she felt all right. Arizona of all places. Why not Timbuktu? I wouldn't hear a word of it. And the Grand Sun City, an active new way of life. Golf course, 
activity center, community center, recreation park, swimming pool, highway house, shopping center. It's like a resort. There they were, looking 10 years younger than when I last saw them. Jean certainly hasn't lost her touch. Best meal I had since we left home. I just love your home, Jean. Thanks. It's just perfect for the two of us. The kitchen is so wonderful to work in. Ah, and what a change from that huge place back east. Isn't it wonderful, Ben? Imagine living right on the golf course. Well, you know how it is with us big shots. Strictly country club. No, seriously. At home, you'd have to be the town banker. Really loaded to enjoy this kind of life. But the truth is, when I retired, I retired on less than $400 a month. And Jean and I get along real fine. The house, groceries, recreation, fun, the works. And I'll let you in on a little secret. Here, with all you see, we've got no more than $12,000 tied up in the whole thing, and I bought the most expensive home on this block. 